Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're checking out a couple of trailers for games that have been announced, released, or, well, we already knew this was coming. We've known this is coming for a long time. This is the sequel to Injustice, Gods Among Us. Now, the, what we've seen previously to this is a lot of trailers introducing characters and the new armor mechanic, where every change or everything you do defines you. So, this is our first look at the actual story that they're doing for Injustice 2. Now, I, I read the Injustice comics, and I'm pretty sure the Injustice comics don't really go into this bit of the story, because it does, like, the, the multiple years of that uh, comic book series led up to the events of Injustice 1. So, this is going to be interesting, so I don't know what uh, what we've got to see, so hopefully this is entertaining. Bring it on, DC. Bring it on, Nether Realms. Savior. Monster. Oh uh, yeah, definite monster. Vigilante. The preservation of life. So often, the justification for taking it. Humans, elevating those that keep guard until they watch too close. And the so-called hero, condoning the very act he would condemn. Transgressions of the past. So I'm taking the explanations of this are to just kind of like show that the characters have all gone too far. Into adversary. Yesterday's loss leads to madness. And God becomes tyrant, becomes outcast, becomes dust, as factions dissolve and form, and lust for power enslaves all. Such folly and futility in the grand design. Curious how lines once clearly defined become blurred. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for them to be redrawn. So, did we just see a Brainiac or a... Maybe? I'd like that... Maybe Prometheus? Hmm. Pre-order for Darkseid. Holy shit! Right? Three different editions of it? Now, this is not actually not as too much of a surprise to me about the three different editions of Justice uh, 2. Now, um, maybe actually, maybe I can bring up this image. If I can bring up this image, then I can actually show you guys what was weirding me out recently. Maybe it's actually in here in the screenshots. But um, yeah, I went into the American store because Injustice 2 has popped up on that now for pre-order. And I'm definitely not pre-ordering. Like, I, I do not recommend anybody pre-orders absolutely anything on any of these sources anymore because... Uh, I need to bring it up some other high. So I'll just do this. This up in here. Shots and look. <clears throat> Either way, um, that was Injustice Gods Among Us. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not too massively fussed on what we've seen there. That was actually meant to give us an explanation of a story, but that gave nothing. All it did was kind of go back over the original content of Injustice 2, or Injustice, and that's not a really great kind of like introduction to what we're going to be seeing in this game, because the, we already know that Superman's been trapped away. We don't know what the value of any of these heroes actually turn on each other anymore. Uh, the, the Batman is actually like, obviously it's sentient implying that he's gone all brother eye and is watching absolutely everything and has become the tyrant that actually he wished to stop from however actually happening. And maybe the Supergirl and the other characters are there kind of like trying to turn back against him. Maybe like it, Superman's calmed down now. We can let him go now. I don't know. I think... I don't think there's actually been any development story-wise to this, except for, like, let's introduce more characters and make it more, um, 
to like essentially to make the combat so that we have to you're perpetually unlocking things. Like, let's make it about that rather than actually making it as story based as the original uh, Injustice was. And then Injustice, uh, I mean, Nether Realms and have done a really good job with Mortal Kombat 9, 10, and the original Injustice for giving us a really interesting story based combat for a fighting game. And I want to see them continue on in that tradition. I don't want to see. I have 14 premium skins, 10 different uh, loadouts, and then though it's designed for the multiplayer online competitive environment. Like, that's that, that, that's absolutely fine. I mean, like, if you're going to develop your game for that, don't don't abandon the single player campaign, which actually brought your game to a lot of people's attention in the first place. It's a, it's a per choice, but um, I, I saw in the, like, because I couldn't bring up the image there to show you guys, it's actually like the three editions. Uh, one of the editions has one premium skin with it, and then the other one has three premium skins. And the premium skin for the first one is to turn Supergirl into Power Girl. Grand, that actually includes like changing the voices and whatever else. Okay, that makes sense. Then the other one is actually like three premium skins. But this is actually like from the range of being the price of like the $50, $60 release to the $80 and then $90. And it's like, that is a lot of money to outlay for some premium skins for your characters. I, which I really, really hope that you don't have to actually pay for real life money with otherwise outside of it. Um, Injustice 2 is interesting and exciting to me, but it just isn't... Every battle that defines you must imply something that actually is about leveling up your character and constantly fighting to actually improve, because I'm not seeing anything in this that's actually like being like an arching, arching story that needs to be solved. And to be honest, that's a nice reveal just of showing like dark sides in it because we we need some decent villains. You need to actually kind of like en uh, enhance the villain choices that are in this. Let's take a look. See, can we actually rewind back and take a look at? Yeah, let's take a look at this. The Injustice Ultimate Edition, Delo Digital Deluxe Edition, and Standard Edition. I'm mm, not excited. I'm, I'm not excited by the actual multiple versions of it coming out. Uh, see, is that what it actually shows there? So three additional items, nine additional items on the original game. Of course, they're not going to say anything about the price in this, but whatever. So we've got 20 days to count down to the release of Injustice 2. Uh, what I would like to see, story-wise, is uh, maybe a turn on the characters against uh, Batman, uh, because he's actually gone past the point of actually being, hey, I'm protecting everybody here, to actually being uh, that dystopian kind of like lord that he was or the the dark lords the justice lords essentially that they tried to fight off against and like on earth too um superman being released from jail hopefully making a turn back to being a heroic character even though his turn as a villain in the last game was absolutely fantastic i mean properly terrifying to see in it um of course we have supergirl being a front title line character a fun titled character which you normally see kind of given to wonder woman in most DC kind of environments. So you've got the Trinity, you've got your Superman, you've got your Batman, you've got your Wonder Woman. That's what they normally do. But in this case, they're fo focusing on Supergirl. So I'm imagining the story's kind of heavily focused on her, which is a bit odd. Well, I mean, essentially, her not appearing at all in the first one implies, are they doing Supergirl's arrival in this? And is that somewhere, and like, is that something I missed in the comics? I don't, because I, like, I haven't finished Justice, but I was like up to year three, year four, whenever I kind of like, stopped it. I think I got, I got to it whenever, I stopped playing it, reading it whenever, they kind of really started focusing on Constantine and the other characters that were in the universe that were trying to hide away and gather the magic to be able to take down Superman. Like I just, I, I, I just didn't get time to read them at that point. But um, hey, actually, let, let's talk about the backgrounds that are actually behind these. So behind Batman, um, looks like Gotham or like a very dark metropolis. Um, behind Superman, Daily Planet destroyed logo. Behind Supergirl, is that a Brainiac face? Maybe? I mean, Metallo? Maybe? I don't know. And uh, during that particular video, whenever we are watching it, it actually showed her watching a planet being destroyed, so I'm assuming there's, there's, there's some there's some story elements in here that I, I have absolutely no clue about, but I'm intrigued enough to see those. But I really, 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 really cannot see myself spend anywhere... I, 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 as it is now, I'm not hyped to play spend $60 on this, especially considering that one of the first titles I got on the PS4 for nothing was injustice so um yeah we'll, we'll see what comes in the next 20 days i'm sure there'll be many more announcements to be made but i've got a feeling that this is going to be very very heavily laden into dlc and random box releases which could very well be a transparent example of what happens whenever you let loot boxes and loot crates in video games run rampant but uh, 
WB are grasping for every bit of money they can get from their DC franchises. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's very heavily involved in this. I mean, the other realms are not uncommon for this kind of thing. Selling combat, or for selling easy fatalities and combat coins and stuff in MK10. So, hmm. Let's see if they choose to make this a pain in the hole to play. Or if the content's going to be maintained and carrying itself. Just as two, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. This has been another kind of like a, I suppose, hype train for Just as two on the PS4 and on the Xbox One and all the other consoles it's going to be on. But it's more than likely, I'll be playing on PS4. So, uh, guys, check it out. Uh, let's hope for a. What, are they even doing a PC release immediately? Because that was actually a big flawed thing whenever they did any of the WP games before. Like MK10 had massive issues. Warner Brothers doesn't have a good history with Arkham Knight as well. Let's see if this one actually can get released without actually causing people to pretty much like format their entire hard drives. That would be a that would, that would, that would be a bad start. So um yeah guys, if you like my rambling kind of thoughts on Injustice 2, you can feel free to actually hit the subscribe button up there. It'll actually allow you to see anything that I actually do here on the channel as soon as it appears in the subscription box. And you know, of course, hit the wee bell underneath if you want to get the notifications to be told when the video goes live. Or you can head over here on the side and hit anything on a video series that I've actually worked on here on the channel at some point. You'll see a couple of things that are recent, a couple of things that are interesting to you, and a couple of things that are actually just a playlist. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.